Wiles. The. Okay. Now let's wait for the rest to come out. Oh! <laughs> now, whilst the men, the male slaves were in the dungeons, they were struggling, fighting for their freedom. If it were today, we would call them freedom fighters. So the leaders were brought in here and they were condemned to death. No food, water was given, so they died. Ten or more people could have been sent in here and as they were being stabbed, when the first person died, the soldiers were scared that coming for the dead body, those living would attack them. So they will wait till those living got weak. So it is possible that while some of them were getting rotten decomposing, some were in there alive. Now when you look at this two cell, on top of it, yeah, we have something here that looks like a bell. We show that it's a light or life cell, and just we have the skull and the bone on it to show that it's dead. And that was done to put fear into the rest of the men. We have this white plant. We have a similar one at the Cape Coast Castle, and it was put here by the chiefs to serve as the mission statement of the tour of the dungeons. And it says that in the everlasting memory of the anguish of our ancestors. We pray that the those who die rest in peace, that those who return find their roots. Mm. May humanity never again perpetrate such injustice against humanity. We, the living, vow to uphold this, this urgentness that irrespective of where we stand, as the story is being unfolded, we should try to do that we can to say no to any form of injustice and slavery in our time. Mm.